The gameplay footage starts with a quest line called Automatic Love, where V is attempting to hunt down a missing person via any means necessary. Now, in the interest of time, and to avoid spoilers, we have edited this footage, but it does mean that you'll still have plenty to discover when you play it for yourself on December 10th. The gameplay will be switching between Xbox One X and Xbox Series X, and you can check in the corner to see which one you're looking at. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Kako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Don't even want to find you. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. What will you have? Anything, whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh, I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know it. Clients allowed in here. Well, dear, close the door on the way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy.
vibe. This is a wicked vibe. Years of practice. You can see it. Are we still going somewhere? How about something? got here and you just the cutest thing if you're looking for a release I just might be your man kindly get the fuck out of my way yo you hear what this bitch said to me best watch your tongue I'd say it again but <laughs> what for your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. has been detected at the destination. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. Problem, Psycho Sue. This look like a landing pad to you. Could have fucking crushed us. <laughs> okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Uh, oh, seems trouble once in. Keep an eye on the AV for me, will you? I don't get paid to do that. I wasn't asking. I'm not a scratch on it when I get back. Welcome to Lizzie's. We will make history. We will make history. We will make history. 
Now sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a knot. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? No. Yo también te quiero, ma. Yeah, about time, Holmes. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help yourself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster. Like most of the Wells boys, it's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. Oh, but we are. They just don't know it yet. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Who would have thunk? I know, right? Way before our time, that. When proper burials were still a thing. And who might you clowns be? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? Alright then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. This is it. The heart of Night City. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Fell asleep on that same bar. Looks like we're up. Lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> the place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age-old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid up would be best. <sighs> what a beautiful tradition. Tonight city. And the afterlife. Ha <laughs> You're gonna tell me what happened back there? <laughs> Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it! 
You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car! Damn. Badly. Hi, um, heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Hey, everybody shut it! Where is it? Come on, spill! On the horn? No. Amateur hour, Jesus. First exit off Skyline going towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent who seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit our Ripper Dock. Take change your fucking life. Crime is a common occurrence. Night City is not a safe place. Life here is not easy. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. V! I can release... How to play out with Dex? It's all here. All right. I'll check it out while I wait for you. V? Dr. Vector, we'll see you now. We're at a Ripper Doc clinic. Ripper Docs are specialist vendors who offer people the possibility to install or upgrade their cyberware. Vicky, spry as ever, you old Ripper. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit just got real. Hitting the major leagues. Got a job from Dex to Sean. The Dex to Sean? Yeah, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Last time, I swear. Now sit. That's Karoshi. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. We're going to install both an optical scanner. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. And a subdermal weapon grip. Link's not labeled. And to be perfectly honest, not entirely sure where the hell I got it. Still, looks like it'll talk to Karoshi Tech. <sighs> I'm ready. Carve away. Okay, all clean. Now for the fun stuff. Lay that Major League arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Doc. Play by play. Makes you sound like a dentist. They're always going on and on. Don't be me now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Good, so let's test it. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort. Maybe blurred vision, low contrast, glitches.
So, how's it look to you? With the scanner, we can zoom in on things and take a closer look. This is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. Additionally, we can analyze objects, get details on enemy weak points or gang affiliation. It might take you a while to adjust, but those times rarely the charm with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. The subdermal weapon grip links to our scanner and shows us weapon information like ammo count and fire modes. It also increases the base damage on all connected weapons. Shit, Victor. Not bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. Thanks again. You're the best, Vic. Go on, kid. Show him what you can do. And once you hit the big time, don't forget where you came from. While some Ripper docks operate legally, others provide black market services. For the right price, they can even offer to install illegal, military-grade cyberware. Left a few minutes ago. Said he'd wait outside. Well, well, Hiroshi. Mm -hmm. Well, Vic's got a soft spot for you, Heina. Come on, how about you use them fancy ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Hey, just watch the big job. Hey, Carnal! Hey, you got a problem? This guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers we took out earlier. Something tells me that wasn't no coincidence, huh? Jackie's car is a super-powered sports car running on Chew 2, the super fuel of the future. Players can explore Night City freely, in many different cars, on bikes, and in other types of vehicles. This does not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, fuck! It looks like the scavengers from earlier are still angry. They're pulling ahead, Heino. Watch it now. Got it. All right. I think we got rid of them. That was intense. Shit! The fuck was that? Devils. Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner, even in daytime. Random encounters like these are an example of how your actions directly influence your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, Jackie. So, if they're done riding our asses? Scavs? Uh, sure, maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But, who knows? Real messed up pendejo, Scars. Saw it yourself. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City, but the mega corporations are the real showrunner. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. Why are we stopping? Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ringer, she's in the area, and we're gonna meet. Let me guess. 
She's in hot corporal water. Desperate. Then you think you can use that. See if I can, yeah. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, preparation will be key when dealing with Night City's powerful, especially when these are corpos. Instead of just rushing in, let's assess the situation with our freshly installed Kiroshi optical scanner. There, let's take a closer look. Composite armor, car's a fucking tank. Shit. Yeah, Militech, no doubt about it. You sure you still want to meet him? Yeah, gotta do this. But don't you move a damn muscle. Not unless I start, that is. These guys are levels higher than we are. Let's try to approach them carefully. Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yep. We wanted... Think you're smart? What you just blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Calm the hell down! What is I've this? I've got you now, asshole! You're insane! Who the fuck is this? I'll know in two seconds flat. That fucking thing ready? All set. Are you here alone? The Corpos have hacked us through our personal link and have subjected Come us to a kind on. of lie detector program. The dialogue system in Cyberpunk 2077 is fully gameplay driven. I asked if you came alone. Yep, just little old me. She's lying. Search the area. Now listen, boys. we don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, did he or another asshole at Militech leak info to you or anyone else about a convoy? It might be tempting to reach for the gun, but the yeah. consequences could Got be dire. To do with him Remember, or these guys are really tough. Shit. Checks out. <laughs> you got nothing on me! Nothing! Won't get away with this, you bitch! You're dead! Somebody shut him up. Take me home! Now! All right. I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want, but you better give me something solid or I will end you. I've got an offer. Oh, you are stretching. This better be fucking good. Gang goons who ripped you off? I know where to find them. They got a bot I want. Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Credship, 50k. Just enough to buy you your bot. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. That's all I need. Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. Fine. I'm in. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's good as dead! And she'll take you down with her! The agent gave us the money to buy the bot we need from the game. By choosing to call the Militech agent early, we have now opened up a non-violent path through this quest. Of course, we could try and keep the money, but that would mean we'd have to take the merchandise by force, which requires a lot of firepower. Looked a little fishy, you know? Get the tents? No signal, so I stay put. Good thing, too. Went down about like I expected. Made a deal, and we're good to meet with Maelstrom now. Mm-hmm. Be there soon. What do you expect? Corpse don't forgive or forget. Even these Borg fucks sense that. Feel the pressure. That's why they're holed up in this shithole, praying to the almighty Trip Six. They gotta move the tech, but they can't. Cause your new best friend from the tripped out, tanked out SUV is just begging them to try. 
How you want to do this? Even now, we can choose how to approach this quest. Do we go in guns blazing, or do we try to negotiate All right. for the plan? Simple. We pay with the corpo's cred and get out. I don't know, but you're calling this one. For this demo, let's try oh, the more diplomatic approach. Uh, Tough shit. All we need's for them to buy it. Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Main room. I'm waiting. You know how things work in Night City? The stronger survive. But that's how things stand. You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Then C ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count title. Or Maelstrom, depending on the season. One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. Chrome-sucking psychos. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? I'm gonna introduce you to our meat grinder. About time we had some fun! Think Maelstrom ever forgets? Never! <laughs> I hate these Borg fuckers. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. Gangster life, puto! Quick shout out to everyone in Haywood and Santo Domingo. Lately, the Valentinos and 6th Street have had a bigger bone to pick. 6th Street, why'd they want to wipe you? I don't know, can't fucking stand Tinos? Fucking stop! I've dealt with 6th Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. Come on, let's go before 6th Street shows up. Shop, shop, shop! Any more Second Amendment fans in the house, huh? Uh. Hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all day. Time to bring on the future. Any idea how many attacks from behind the black wall we neutralized? If the voodoo boys breach the black wall, we'll all be fucked. Voodoo boys? Urban myth, I thought. Just net runners spooking each other. No such gang. You know, I heard a few things about you. The voodoo boys, best runners in town. You do not steal from the voodoo boys. I see you always. For them, Pacifica's just Haiti 2.0, their own island, cut off from the rest of the city. This is our turf, our home. Until last week, the animals crawled in. Animals are the craziest fucking gang in the city. Breaker stop! Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle, someone else needed them. I fucked you over, you fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? My husband's new Westbrook. Very high in the tiger claws. They did what made the best eddies. Sold sex and black market tech. See a lot of tigers. They run this place. Know what else they do well? Break the knees of people who ask questions. I gotta do something! Shut the fuck up! The tigers will kill us. Come on, baby. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Folk went ballistic. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. Think you're some kind of gang group now, huh? Us mocks just have each other's back. We look out for one another. You looking for some company tonight? How'd you hook up with the mocks? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Tell me about the Badlands. Not much going on out here, huh? Au contraire. This is an ecosystem. Nomads, Raph and Shiv, corporations and drifters, they form a complete whole. Remove one part, the delicate balance topples. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside world? This family will go to hell and back. Everyone in this city lives in their own bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand.
In a huge open world like Night City, you need a chill ride to get around fast. And in Cyberpunk 2077, there are tons of cool vehicles to choose from. Get this! Four liter engine, six cylinder, goes from zero to 103.2 seconds. You fucking believe that? We've crafted every car and motorbike with amazing attention to detail. On the chassis, the body, not to mention the interiors. You can expect everyone not only to look unique, but to deliver a unique driving experience. All right, show me what you got. Don't expect advanced tech or luxurious materials here. Nuh-uh. Yeah, it's not the size that counts, I guess. This class is mostly utility vehicles and low-end clunkers made for every pocket. Hold on, hold on. It's a wreck. Uh -huh. My damn wreck. Well, definitely no guy or girl, Mac. If you need to impress, look to this class alone. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. With these wheels, no expense has been spared, no frill ignored. Their plush interiors decked out in all the latest tech, while you get to sit back and enjoy the ride. Masterful engineering and practical design. Trucks and tanks for when you need power and brute force. Hell of a machine. Neat beast. My pride and joy. And these monsters are literally unstoppable. These are for chooms who love the smell of exhaust and the roar of street wildlife. Their powerful engines and exchangeable parts make them perfect for tuning. Come on! I want to smell that choo-choo bird! Whether it's street racing, running from the NCPD, or just showing off in the streets, with these high-powered beasts, you will have only respect. Oh yeah, I like that! If you need speed and armor, the hypercar class is for you. It means precise bodywork, built-in LiDAR arrays, and really expensive materials. Imagine you're sitting on a pile of eddies. Probably less than a thousand people in the world can afford the Arendite. Not your typical urban vehicle. They will take you places you never dreamed you'd go. Oh, and original vehicles are not all you'll find in 2077. We also found room on our roster for some true automotive icons. Floor it, V. 